on my vocable object four, and let us continue Tales of Link. Back to the mission. I hear the sound of the heavy door opening. I hear their steady footsteps echo throughout the chamber. I could have set my watch by it, and in a few more seconds, the usual battle will begin. Uh, it's not gonna be quite like that. The battle to reclaim what was taken. The battle to liberate the light by invoking the darkness. The battle, a battle to the death. No matter how many times I fail, it's a battle that must be repeated. Returning her to the light, it's the one promise I will not break. This time, I must end it. From the crater that was torn into the floor during that battle long ago, I look up to the chamber entrance. I know that you'll walk straight forward from the door and look down at me from the rim. With the heart and eyes of a man regarding an enemy, you'll speak. So, you're Lillian. Tap, tap, tap. The footsteps stop. The silhouettes appear at the rim as they always do. Sarah, Lippy, and of course, Gladicus. Lillian. Shall we begin? No. Zephyr. Huh? How? Oh, we have Kana's blessing! <laughs> How could you possibly know that name? I'm sorry we're late. We need to end this. Why is he looking at me like that? Come home. Come be with your friends. Friends? I've betrayed them all. This isn't what anyone wanted. So stop this. Come home. That voice. There's no way. This time we're not here to fight. We're here to take your hand. Stop this! Who are you? How can you even ask? It's way too late for that. I threw away everything I had to be here. I killed you time and time again. And now I'm going to kill you once more. Also, I can bring her back to the light. I had to accept this power. It was the only way I could keep my promise. I was the one who couldn't save her. Now this power is my only chance left. If it's power you need... Don't you say it! Don't you take me back there! If it's power you need, you have us. You don't need to fight for her alone. 
I wasn't able to stand at your side that day, but now I'm ready to fight beside you. Don't you say that word. As your partner, Ellen, stop this. You have to stop this. If you really are Alan, then I I can't. The derp. Oh, the darkness calls. You can't kill him. Is that it? Look at you, as pathetic as ever. Hey, you haven't exactly called him out. As far as I know, on all of his other field attempts, so... Eh, whatever. How in the world? Nevertheless, I'll grant you more of my power. For old time's sake. You know, it's not like we've been trying this over and over again. Whatever. <laughs> my strength will eat away your weakness. Oh. Hmm. Huh. I have a feeling we're gonna have, uh, not a lot of options in fighting him. Hmm. I feel that speaks for itself. <laughs> Master Zephyr. We stare at the figure before us. It's the figure of a man who's been reduced to a single thought by an eternity of cruelty. But the die had been cast the day he was swallowed by the darkness. He'd had no other choice. Whenever he questioned his path, the power that had sunk its roots into that his arm pushed him back to his faded place upon the spiral. That's actually really interesting. Even though he's immortal, he still, almost by default, ends up still stuck in the same loop as everyone. He's immortal and probably can change a lot of things, but still, same spiral over and over. Huh. That's interesting. The vilest of mind control curses. The more regret he experiences, the more malice it instills within him. That, that's horrible. You must have experienced so many emotions on your travels through the spiral. But when you felt your heart break, or you threatened to stray from that dark path, your master used this art over and over and over again. And the more it was cast upon you, the stronger the effect became, forcing you to cast all your feelings, all your doubts, all your reservations into a dark and foul abyss. Until only a single pure thought remains within you. Bring her back to the light. Nothing else matters. Lilium. Zephyr. My beloved partner, look at what Nick Hogg has done to you. Look at what you've become. Listen to that twisted joy in its laughter. This has to stop. A drop of blood splatters upon the earth. The nails of my tightly clenched fist 
dipped deeply into my own flesh. Rivets of blood slide down my palm. This hurts to stop. Uh, no to anyone. If you ever see yourself clenching your fist that much, don't don't do it. <laughs> I can feel the anger pushing me into action, but no. I force it back down with me. Imagine if we, the three of us, just left. We're just like, no, we're not taking part in this. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to wait till till we die of old age or something. <laughs> no, I didn't come here to defeat anyone. I came here to take his hand. Just then, the chamber fills with a thick miasma. Zephyr howls like a beast, his body bursting with magical energy. I need to discover the source of that dark energy. With this, Folkvanger, the goddess's light. Sir. Yeah. Lippy. Of course. This is where the spiral began, and this is where the spiral ends. We will have it all, everything we came here for. You know, with all this talk of the spiral, I'm surprised they didn't do a Gurren Logan crossover. That would have been nice. Uh, whatever. <laughs> We're going to save everyone! Yes, we shall. <laughs> now! Let's do this! It's going to be great! We're going to have all the things we've ever wanted. Alright. Let's start one out of four. I don't use Luke very often. Let's see what dark, evil creatures await us. Okay, it's probably the standard uh, creatures. Eleven or I'm looking for. Okay. I mean to kill you all at once, but okay. Take that! Oh, golly. Oh, I love this game. It's so fun. <laughs> oh. I could have used, done the whole healing thing. I'm gonna have just enough to be able to heal myself. Well, maybe that won't be needed. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's not too bad damage-wise. That's not too bad. Well, that's not a lot of healing I'm doing either, so, eh, I guess it balances out. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what I do about this. What can you do? Well, I'm gonna have to heal up soon, let's see. That's petrification. Godly, I hate petrification. Um. Well, 
I'm gonna need a heal. There's no getting around it. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see if we can do some uh, operation. Okay. What do you got for me? Ew. Ow. That's not the best healing job, but it's a healing job. Okay, almost got you taken care of. Goodbye! You monster that I never wanted to meet. Lovely. I guess? Huh. This rate, this episode's probably got clocking at 40 minutes. Whatever. Um. Ah, oh, golly. Can't wait till we get to the end. It's gonna be so cute and happy. And they'll, they'll probably bring flower petals and whatnot. It's just gonna be really nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. After this area, what do we got? Like seven videos, which hopefully I'll get a good chunk done today and Monday. Shoot, I probably should have saved this person for later. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. Be gone! Come on! Come on! What do you got for me? Okay, let's see here. Alright. That was a lot of healing, but it was some healing. Ah, I could have done... Well, whatever. <laughs> He's an idiot anyways. Oh, good. It always helps when your enemy is an idiot. Elemental Mastery! <laughs> lovely, lovely. Which I would love to finish, like, the final battle of this game with Blade Bloom. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I would love to have it in like that. Alright. <laughs> oh, golly. Uh, that was probably, like, the biggest surprise that Zebra probably has ever gotten. Just like... You know what? Now I think about it, we probably... When we came in there, we probably should have mentioned that, uh... Kana helped us arrange this whole thing. I mean, it might not curve his opinion completely, but it might make him a little bit more open to know that Kana had something to do with this.
Oh, well, lovely. I activated Sarah twice when I didn't need to. Okay, three. Take all of that! And die. Awesome. Lovely. Which now brings us to our final pieces. More stuff I'm never gonna use. A tormented envoy. Let's see. Let us see what we can do about helping out this tortured envoy. Oh, so, um, I might die a ton of times on this. In fact, I'm almost certain I might die a ton of times. Depending on if this is uh, where we fight Lillian. Man, I'm starting with almost zero LC. It's, it's not particularly inspiring. Let's see. Well, I killed both of them. I gotta be able to at least give myself room to heal myself. Hmm. Okay, that's that's at least a good starter. Oh, nice guitar. Oh, let's do this. Okay, okay, that's a good start. I'll do it for her. Or do you do it for him? <laughs> ah. Okay, this is becoming more anticlimactic. Uh, so I'm gonna end it on Blade Bloom. I just want to listen to this music for a second. <laughs> uh, Time to end this. Blade Bloom! There we go, my friends. All right. Lillian was surprisingly easier than most of the things that I fought. <laughs> but okay. I'm cool with that. I'm 100% cool with that. Okay.
As he howls, magical energy gathers at the palm of his hand. A bloodthirsty gleam blooms in his eye, and his hand begins to crackle with black energy. He's using the lightning art. Lippy, countermeasures. Right away, great savior. Gaia Swell! Lippy channels magical energy into the ground, pulling up a magic repellent, repealing earth, repealing shield of earth. Ugh. Almost simultaneously, bolts of light, black lightning blast out of Zephyr's raised hand. Blam, blam, bam, bam. The chamber echoes with the sound of the bolts blasting divots out of the walls. Suddenly, an ominous sensation runs down my spine. Take cover! They must have felt the same premonition because they react almost instantaneously, leaping out of the line of fire. Crash! Unable to endure the shock waves, the wall of Earth promptly crumbles. We'd have been incinerated if we remained where we were seconds ago. Hear me, that art was even stronger than Mikana's Forbidden Curse, and it barely took him a second to cast it. The darkness that surrounded him was thicker than it had been in any of our previous fights. He's channeling more of Nikod's power than he ever has before. Oh, just our luck. Of course, the one time where we actually know what's going on, he, of course, is doing things differently. <laughs> uh. From within the dust cloud left by the crumbling wall, we resume our battle stances and lock eyes on Zephyr. I find him staring directly at me. He's coming in. Zephyr's feet hammer furiously at the floor, cracking the stone beneath them as he surges straight for me. Let's speed! He's as fast as Caesar was, if not faster. He closes the distance between us in a blink of an eye. He arrives with the claws of his right hand raised to perform a quick downward slash. Whoosh! But Sarah's blade of light is there in time to meet and deflect the strike. Can't let you do that, Zeph. We have to break you out of this. Sparks of energy crackle in the air as her blade tries to push back his claws, but in such a test of sheer brute power. Irk? The moment Sarah's strength falters, Zephyr's left hand darts out towards her throat. That's not gonna happen. Blaze Vega! Rays of light converge into a piercing blast on his outstretched left hand. The hand is knocked away with an audible zap. Saren and I both seize the momentarily open, momentary opening to leap back and put some distance between ourselves and Zebra. Just then, Lippy, Lippy, Tilt Ray, a volley of light arrows soar through, towards Zebra. If we can wound him just enough to stop him in his tracks. Womp. Zephyr raises his hand as he yells out, summoning a shield of magical energy around it. Like Badura's shield, it deflects the arrows, piercing their magical light into the chamber air. I've never seen such power before. 
He's way too strong. Uh, yeah, starting to regret this. He had us outclassed on every front. His impregnable defenses, his overwhelming strength, his lightning speed and reflexes, his raw ferocity. The power he'd been granted by Nidhogg is beyond anything we'd faced in our previous lives. It's beyond anything we anticipated he might possess. Oh, so in our previous lives, he was basically just warming up every time he beat us. <laughs> oh, that's nice to know. <laughs> but that's all the more reason. We stick to the plan. I stand ready to do my part. I'm good too. We're gonna get this done right. The plan of salvation is one we'd all hatch together. We're gonna throw him a birthday party. <laughs> uh, and I promise you this, Zephyr. We're gonna get you back. Yes, indeed. Yeah, screaming about it isn't necessary, Zephyr. <sighs> well, I'll see you guys in the next video, which... Uh, it'll be about... It'll probably be about 30 minutes, depending on how long this video takes to upload. Yeah, should be around 30 minutes that I start again. And yeah! We're gonna get a fair amount of Tales of Link done, and it's gonna be awesome and great, and people will probably cry. Um, I, I don't mean the audience, but, or, or me, I mainly mean the characters will probably do a lot of crying. Um, but it'll be great. And, uh, for anyone who's, who never played Tales of Link, um, at the very least, you can check out the beginning, you know, Tales of Link is ending March 27th, that is when it's, when the server, servers will be shut down and everything, so, until then, uh, I recommend at least checking it out a little bit. Yeah, you can't do much. Um, and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.